Well, I grew up in a small town, Brazil, Indiana. I came to New York in the mid-90s to go to school at Cooper Union. And being a skater, I could just skate all around town, so I would go to all the museums, have my skateboard with me, and just check it at Coat Check. I was a little backwards. In fact, only the year before had I seen my first piece of historical artwork in person. But I do recall very starkly like, going to the Metropolitan Museum of Art and um, discovering the ancestral totems from the New Guinea area. At first, they're very exotic looking, but each one of those faces is an actual person. And when I realized what was behind them, it definitely shattered a particular preconceived idea as to what art was. There was both the life around the artwork during it being made, there was the life around the artwork and how it functioned in the society. And there was a life around the artwork as to how it got to the United States. And so it's the life behind it and the, the truth content within it that is actually really quite extraordinary and goes far beyond what it appears to be. There was a piece I did at PS1 where planted about 50 trees. It's more or less like a cross-section of an Amazonian forest. And then we dumped, pumped, and sprayed about 20 tons of concrete on the entire forest. <laughs> it's more of an, an action than it is a composition or an object and it's one that is both horrifying and has some beauty to it at the same time. The forest then regrew over time as it would break through elements of the concrete and had a whole life cycle that went on for a year and a half. We're so desensitized to imagery of violence, both in terms of a landscape, but also in terms of a culture. So what the project really is looking at is trying to find ways to tether reality right back to it. Just like skating, there is no ideology behind hitting the pavement. That's just you and your body hitting the pavement and a kind of reality check. The skating started, I was quite young and I was, I was really bad at it. And my brother, I remember, made fun of me at one point. He's like, you've been skating that long and you still suck? So there was a turning point at around the age of 13 that I became extremely disciplined. And I had this thing where I had to learn a trick a day. I used to sneak out of the house, like at two in the morning, and I'd drive up to Chicago or, <laughs> or drive down to Louisville. So skateboarding, for me, it was the most fulfilling when you would find um, a new situation in an urban context and you think of a different way to use it. It propels one to want to actually, yeah, go out in the world and explore. The Explorers Club is a private club that was founded in 1904 by a number of people that were embarking on these different endeavors and they kind of needed a center where they could come together to have what they call a smoker, where they would meet and discuss what kind of expeditions they've been doing. Uh, so it was a place to disseminate information. At the time of its founding, there were people, of course, racing to the poles, north and south, trying to get to the top of the tallest mountain on Earth, Mount Everest. A 
eventually to get to the moon. But as these people were racing to the great first, they were kind of passing up all of the rest of life along the way. And so I think now we've come to a completely different understanding as to how to perceive the definition of exploration. Now it's really about those granular, infinitesimal, minutia aspects of life that really are the things that make up the world. A combine is basically a, a piece of farming equipment that cuts corn, breaks the kernels of the corn off the cob, and then sifts and rasps the cobs and the stalks but also cleans the grain. The exhibition breaks apart this piece of machinery into thousands of pieces. It takes time and movement going around and looking at everything, just like an ecosystem is not really something you can just show up and stand in front of and experience. It's actually a number of processes that over time you understand, experience, and you put it back together taking the, the macroscopic whole into the microscopic details that make up this one thing that also does many operations all at once. There is an infinite number of variations of things one can do with a skateboard. And it never quite ends, so it will always keep going the more you put into it. I thought that at one point I was going to be a professional skateboarder, but a girl broke my heart and I started making art quite uh, intensely. And I realized I was just better at making artwork than I was at skateboarding.